All right, I want to just kind of take a couple minutes here with you to step back and kind of look at look at the big picture um, as far as types of functions go. Um, and I've got a graph of four different basic kinds of functions that you've dealt with so far in your math career. And uh, those are uh, linear functions, functions that form a straight line on the graph, um, quadratic functions that forms a parabola, um, cubic functions that forms this kind of weird S-shape type thing, and then um, an exponential function that does this kind of thing. So let's look at, I mean, kind of the basic characteristics of each one. And first I want to just write out these things in uh, the form of an equation. So this is a visualization of each kind of function. So let's write the um, an equation for each type of function. So um, your basic linear equation is uh, y equals x. Um, that's not what this particular line is. Uh, but this is the basic form. You know, I could have, I could have something like y equals, um, you know, three x plus seven. You know, this would be closer to what this line is. Uh, the point being, my uh, I've got a y and an x. My x is to the power of one. Right. So that's what makes it a straight line. Um, so that's all that's happening here. So this. This would be a a linear a linear function, a function that forms a line when you graph it. Um, so th the key to that is that the x is to the power of one. It's just x. It's not x squared. It's not x cubed. You know, nothing like that. Okay. So those that that's a linear function. Now a quadratic function, like your your basic library function would be y equals x squared. Um, and I believe I think this is actually what that what this particular quadratic function is showing. Um, I could have something that's you know y equals uh, negative um, three x squared plus two and it'd be something like um, you know it flipped downward uh, and it would, you know, come up off of the origin there. Some, you know, very roughly like that. And that's not exactly right, but uh, the key feature is that uh, x is to the power of two for a quadratic, a quadratic, quad, quadratic. All right, so the key feature of a linear equation is, is x is to the power of one. Uh, the key feature of a quadratic equation is that x is to the power of two. Um, and then a cubic function, your basic one is x equals, or y equals x cubed. Um, this is not exactly that, you know, shift it over to the right. I think it's stretched out too, um, you know, just off the top of my head, maybe it's something like uh, y equals x minus 5 cubed, you know, something like that. There's a, there's a shift there, and maybe, I don't know, maybe it's whatever. I'm not going to speculate too much because uh, my, my reviewer is going to get on my case. But point being, the basic idea of a cubic function is that x is to the power of 3. All right, and then finally let's look at this exponential exponential. An exponential function. An exponential function has the form um, y equals something to the power of x. So that the variable 
is actually an exponent of something. E, you know, that's a common one. That's Euler's number. It's, I think it's one point something, something, something. Um, you could have y equals uh, 3 to the power of x, um, something like that. The main thing is that the variable is now the exponent of, of some other number. Right? That's, so it's an exponential. Right? So that, those are the key characteristics of the equations that govern those types of functions. So linear, uh, x is to the power of 1. Quadratic, x is to the power of 2. Cubic, x is to the power of 3. Um, this looks like a 5. Sorry, that's a, that's a 3. Uh, exponential, it's something to the power of x. Uh, and then just look at what kinds of um, um, graphs these guys form. So a linear uh, function, as the name says, forms a straight line. Linear means a line, so a straight line. Um, a quadratic function forms a parabola. Uh, that's something like this, where the the two it's, it's two arms, if you will, go off forever in the same direction. You know, if it's if it's facing down, they'll they'll both go in the negative direction forever. Uh, it reaches a uh, a maximum or a minimum. Here's this is a minimum point that's as low as it goes. For one that's pointing downward, it's it's the maximum point that's as high as it goes. It's got a um, a line of symmetry that goes through that point. Um, so this side is symmetrical to that side. So if you were to flip this this curve uh, over this line, it would line up exactly with that curve. So that's that's the basic idea of a parabola. A cubic function um, ha it has this kind of S shape where each end goes off infinitely in in a different direction from the other one. So if this goes up, this goes down, uh, it could go the other way too. You know if if the left side goes up forever, then the, the right side goes down forever. Um, it's got two critical points where the curve changes direction. You know, it's going this way, then I'll, you know, it's going this way. Um, it's got a point of symmetry there. Um, so that's the basic idea of, of a cubic function, what it looks like. And, you know, it's, it's considered to have a, a kind of an S shape. And then an exponential function, uh, left of the y-axis, it gets um, it gets closer and closer to the x-axis, uh, and it sort of approaches the x-axis as as this goes off into infinity, into negative infinity. It gets closer and closer and closer. Um, it goes through the point zero one, typically, because uh, anything. So say x is zero, anything to the power of zero is one. So no matter what this base is, if it's three, if it's a billion, if it's raised to the power of zero, then uh, it'll it'll be equal to one. So very typical for this to go through the point zero one. You know, if you're if you're, you know, if it's plus five or whatever, then it's you know that would be shifted. But um, and then once it passes through the y-axis like that, and then it shoots, it just skyrockets, it goes crazy. Right, so that's the basic shape of an exponential function. So you've got linear, quadratic, cubic, and exponential functions. Uh, they they have different kinds of equations that govern them, and the graphs have different things uh, that they do, different characteristics uh, by which you can identify them.